Welcome back to Exploring Whiskies. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we're going uh, right back over to Scotland for, I think it's our very first Glenmore Scotch. Mm -hmm. Not one that I've had or or even like had a, like sampled much of. And then going around their website, they have so many different whiskeys. I've seen a handful on the shelves. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It's just not something I've paid attention to, I guess. It's not a name that, I don't know. So we're looking at a Space Side Scotch. Uh, this is their El Elgin Heritage 12 year. The Elgin Heritage uh, Collection, that's the word, is all their aged, generally speaking. So they're, mm -hmm. they're looking at longer ages there. Uh, and just slightly fancier <laughs> i guess is what they i mean that's kind of what they were saying it's like it's oh it's a it's this is our our more fancy one i like the little oh that's nice yeah. got a little crest on the top that's very nice well it's a nod to the original distillery right El elgin west brewery yeah so it started as a uh brewery they were making beers first and then elgin is the cap the capital of the space side region i believe oh okay nice so yeah, a little nod to the heritage over there. Yeah. They also have, so this whole lineup came out in 2016. They have like the classic line, Elgin Classic. They have a Curiosity, which is like finished. They also have the uh, Reserve, mm -hmm. which is their old stuff, like their 25 year scotches. And then there's also a Signature. I don't remember what that one was about. Why that was what what those were. Space side, single malt, I like and the of the bottle. finished in yeah the little uh, column still or pot yeah, still. Almost like look. Glen Karen. Yeah, it's got yeah true. Glen Karen or a pot <laughs> still is kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, it is first fill American oak only. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're going for. Nose is light, sweet, honey. More like a toasted barley, or like a little toast note mm -hmm. to that. I get the sweetness nice. and I get a fair amount of honey. <clears throat> yeah. But the malt is not, I don't know, like that bready cereal malt. It's a little more of a toasted note to the malt. Ooh, all right. So I got a little, I must say barrel tannin, oaky yeah. in the very front. And it sits there for a second, but then it goes into very sweet fruitiness like sweet fruits berries maybe like more of that kind of thing for me and I, i'm not gonna say like like it's not an aggressive dry up but there that oak notes kind of yeah. sits especially in the back of the throat like there's just a really strong oak note there nose is not aggressive it is only 80 proof just like every other scotch that we complain about uh i wonder how that would it drinks the finish for me is a little hotter than i, I but i think that's a lot more oakiness yeah. 12 years Oaky in a... more than proof. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm getting some apple. Okay. On the aftertaste. Yeah, I, I, there's like a weird... Like, like, a, a, like more like a the apple flavor, like you're getting candy, not like eating an apple. Okay, trying to think of, trying to correlate that somehow. Like a mellow apple jelly rancher. All right. The sour apple kind? No. I'm not feeling that. Not sour. Just... Yeah, so candied apple juice of some sort. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like the oak doesn't show up until you actually finish swallowing. Right. Like when you it like, even just like uh, rinsing around in your mouth a little bit, it stays pretty sweet and like honey, floral honey type thing. And then as soon as you swallow, it's like it super you. like a dry oak. Yeah, mm -hmm. a very dry oak note, and it's straight down the middle of your tongue, especially in the back of the throat, and. And there's sweetness that uh, just kind of sits all over the place. I'm for that price not point. sure. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how that compares to. I don't know what their their actual baseline is. So if this is their the heritage uh, collection, I don't know exactly what their baseline baseline whiskeys taste like. Most of their baseline ones, the classic line, is finished. Uh, like. I think there's like six of them, and they're all just like different finishes and things like that. So I have, I have one of the finished ones. Yeah, the sherry, sherry finish. For forty bucks, it's it drinks 
nicely. It's not smoky. It's mm -mm. there is a little bit of a oak char note to it, but there's more of the the sweeter it's just sweet fruits. All, sweet all the way through. Yeah, all and then through. just like like that. I don't know how to ever explain that. Just that like runway of oak note right down the <laughs> middle of your tongue. It's it's really odd that it does. Certain whiskeys do that, where it just feels like it's right down the middle and then it's sweet all around the sides. Uh, I'm not sure how, why my tongue does that, <laughs> but it is what it is. Interesting heritage, uh, going all the way back to, uh, the brewery was 1830, mm -hmm. switched over to the distillery in 1897. So, and then shut, solid history. Shut down during World War One. Yeah, they had they, to shut they shut took, their they doors. Took a, they took a break, and then snapped right back up, mm -hmm. like 1920 or something like that. They snapped right back up, and they've done expansions. Yeah, they've the doubled up. In the fifties, they added another yeah. still house, some more um, pot stills. More stills. Yeah, they they've really done. They bought the local farm that they were getting all their barley mm -hmm. from. So I mean, they've really built out and expanded. And my understanding is they're they're kind of. They are more well known than I guess they were to me, hmm. if that makes sense. Like over they, there, yeah, over there, this is more of a, a standard whiskey versus uh, I just I hadn't heard of it. Yeah, we've made the call before. It'd be interesting once we get over there. Like, what is like the go-to's over there? Yeah, what are the, what's the bar scotches? Yeah, I don't know or whiskeys. <laughs> the, I guess. The, the, every do you day. call them scotch the, over there, or do you just call them whiskey? I bet you they just call it whiskey. Probably. So what do they call our whiskey? American Bourbon. whiskey. American whiskey or bourbon? I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. There's another. There's a. There's a question. Write that down. <laughs> Write that down on a list of things to get answered. No, like I said, I've got the the sherry finish at home. And yep. Kind of. Oh, okay. Down, down there a little bit. I, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I mean, especially for the price. I think mine was a little bit, little more than forty bucks. Okay. But still, I mean. Because of the finish. Yeah, because of the finish. But I've enjoyed it. I, I really like this one. It's, the oak. The whole point of talking more the oak has started to go away a little bit mm -hmm. and the sweet i'm gonna say berry notes i know you said apple but fruit i get more of a berry note okay like mixed berries type thing and it's actually pretty like there's a creaminess okay. to it that i i'm gonna say i wasn't expecting for you know the fact that they proofed it down to 80 i kind of just you know sometimes that gets really thin this isn't as thin as it some of the other ones we've had at 80. Mm -mm. i'd be curious what this one would be like like bump it up to like 92. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mid 90s would be really nice there. Yeah. I really think that would be, really wish all scotches would just, we just need to, can't we get the fill world, up, the, the world com, to pass the law the that all car. scotches have to be, or all whiskeys have to be at least 90. Take away the 80, make it 90. Yeah, but then you got the old Forester 86, which is a lot of people's Then it's too. gotta be 92. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, I think this is a pretty good one. Great price, good value. I and again, I've seen there's multiple at the yeah in the yeah. stores that we we frequent. Now makes me interested to try more of the yep. lineup. We'll have to uh, we'll have to schedule up your your bottle before it's gone. Yeah, before it all goes away. I'll make sure I save at least two pours. Mm. <laughs> overall, yeah, not overall bad. good bottle. Again, uh, it's kind of one of those easy drinkers if you're kind of kind of gun shy on the sco scotch. Yeah. this would be this would be another good one. To, yeah, absolutely to buy. Different than Glenmorangie, but in the same mm -hmm. playground. Well, and Glenmorangie owns them. Oh, yeah, that's right. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah they, own, they own them now. They got bounced around through a couple different people, but now they're they're actually owned by Glenmorangie. <laughs> so similar. It's similar, similar, but it's different. Right. So it's. Uh, I'm glad that they just didn't get rid of one or combine them somehow. Yep. They they are different. That's that's a pretty good pour. Yep. Yeah, glad I got that. Well, yeah. first first <laughs> sample on the show for the Glen Murray, and obviously we've mentioned we've got plenty more to go through. Just yep. need to go track them down. We, we appreciate you joining this episode. If you did, as always, we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You can hit the bell icon, get notified every time we put out a new episode. Let us know if you've ever had any of the Glen Murrays and uh, anyone. So, what's your favorite? Yeah, which one you, would you suggest? Let us know. Yep. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. See ya. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. See ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Later, dudes. <laughs>